Okay, today we're going to be talking about heme synthesis. So first let's go through the pathways. So, uh, the first uh, pathway happens in the mitochondria. Okay, so that's where the very first thing of heme synthesis occurs. Okay? So in the mitochondria, we have glycine, and suctional COA combine and using the enzyme delta ALA synthase you can probably guess what it makes it makes delta ALA this also uses B6 as a cofactor the next step in this process actually occurs in the cytoplasm so this next step, we have uh, delta ALA is converted into porphyrol bilirubin, and this enzyme is called ALA dehydratase. Okay, and ALA dehydratase is actually inhibited by lead. Okay, let's go back. So porphyrol bilirubin. The next step in the process is the enzyme porphyrobinogen deaminase. Okay. And this enzyme and okay and sorry. And this enzyme is inhibited in something called acute intermittent peripheral. Okay, let's go back. And that does that makes three that makes three things. First one is hydroxybilane. Okay, Euro porphyrobilogen. Um, something, 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 bilogen. But basically, over here you have Euro bilogen decarboxylase. Okay, and when you have that destroyed, that's when that's when you get something called uh, porphyria catania tarda. And that's when you get photosensitivity. Finally, we're going to move out back into the mitochondria, and we have protoporphyrin. And then what's the major component of hemoglobin? That's right, it's iron. So we have iron coming in here, okay, Fe2+, and that makes heme. And that enzyme is called ferrochetylase. And there's a metal that inhibits it, and the metal is lead. Okay. So now let's zoom out and see what we have so far. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have uh, the mitochondria. We have, uh, hold on one second. Get my laser pointer out. Okay. We have uh, the mitochondria right here. Um, let me change my laser pointer. Okay, so the mito... Uh, whoa. Okay. So the mitochondria right here. And you get a glycine succinyl COA makes ALA using ALA synthesis. And you need B6, so if you have B6 deficiency, you'll have, you won't be able to make this. Um, you have ALA dehydra dehyd dehydratase, which um, lead blocks, lead also blocks ferrochetylase. So in the blood, you'll have ALA. Porphyrobinogen, porphyrobinogen deaminase blocked in AIP. Then you'll get, like, psychiatric disorders and uh, red-colored wine. You have these steps in the cytosol. And uroporphyrobinogen decarboxylase. Um, so in this one, you're going to... Uh, you're going to get uh, per porphyria catania tarda, which means that you're going to have photosensitivity to light and you're going to get blisters. And um, finally, you get the portoprofen ring here, and if you get um, lead blocks ferrochetylase, you're going to get sideroblastic anemia because you're going to have your iron increasing inside your cells, and you're going to have uh, other shit that happens. Um, you're not going to have heme, and you're going to have portoporphyrin in the urine and ALA in the urine. Um, with AIP, you're going to have these two in the urine. So pretty much everything that's upstream is what you're going to have in the urine. And that is a brief uh, overview of heme disorders. Uh, heme disorders having to do with heme. It's not... In this end... What?